A few days ago, the World Health Organization just declared monkeypox a global emergency. So do we have pandemic 2? Is it here already? Is this something to be really afraid of? Or there's something else going on and this whole thing is just a big Let's find it out. So the World Health Organization declared and announced a couple of days ago that monkeypox is now a global emergency again for the second time. And if it looks like I'm not very serious about this, I have my reasons for that and I'm going to show you those reasons very, very soon. So the question is, is this pandemic too? Are we in this crazy world again where we're gonna have lockdowns and who knows what else or this is just some media fear mongering or there's something else in the background i really wanted to find it out and i'm gonna show you what i found regarding this new crazy danger that we have in the world welcome to mystery teachings my name is gerge if you are new to the channel then greetings and namaste or if you are returning with a beautiful soul then thanks for coming back i appreciate you so this is how it all started <laughs> this was one of the reasons why i was smiling when i mentioned it at the beginning because this is how i imagine it since i saw this meme this is another one um and i wanted to include this because if they want to fool us with this new crazy virus then this is how easy it is gonna be you know uh, but let's get serious here and let's see what google says and i wanted to include this before they change anything you know they changed some definitions during the previous one as well but here we go monkeypox is a rare viral infection that does not spread easily between people here's another right article i found which says mon monkeypox is a cover-up for damage done to the immune system by you know what resulting in shingles autoimmune immune and so on and so on so that's quite interesting and if we look at the ingredients of the you know what uh, here it is a little bit closer then that's interesting isn't it and there's, an, there's a doctor called dr sherry tempany who just said recently that a few monkeypox deaths are a global health emergency but tens of thousands of job deaths and injuries are not even acknowledged interesting but anyway, here is another one I found. Health officials have put out a warning that the Democrat National Convention, which just finished recently in Chicago, is a potential super spreader event for the virus. And I was thinking, hold on for a second, I just saw that it does not spread easily. How can it be a super spreader event? So maybe this is just all about money again just as the previous one you know you saw probably how much the big companies made in profit like amazon and google and all the others they they doubled and tripled their profit during 2020 and 2021 so i'm not sure but let's see a short clip from gb news which is a news channel here in england and after I tell you why I wanted to include this one, because the reporter says um, something that I think it's important. Here we go. Call me battle hardened uh, through COVID. I just, I don't care. Doesn't move me at all. Doesn't alert any spidey sensors. Doesn't alert any, you know, threat sensors. I just, monkeypox, one case in Sweden. I don't care. What is it? I don't care. Sorry. Even if it was a nasty virus, and I, I, don't, I really don't know, but the problem is COVID really just blew up all sort of trust in the health establishment and anything else. So um, the, the, the government, at least, and the NHS have a real problem in this country in trying to win over lots of people who during COVID were, you know, they just lost all trust and faith in the health establishment. Well, so why did I say that I want to include this clip and I have a good reason for it because this reporter mentions a very important thing and that's the trust that people lost their trust in the media, in the government, in the health services in general. And a good example for that is what Dr. Anthony Fauci said back in 2020 and now in 2024. Here we go. When people are vaccinated, they can feel safe that they are not going to get infected. You know, I got infected about two weeks ago. It was my third infection and I had been vaccinated and boosted a total of six times. Now, when it comes to the media, there's a new report came out a couple of days ago and it's just so crazy. I don't even know how to describe it. I just I just show you and you decide for yourself. OK, 
An Italian man is believed to be the first patient diagnosed with monkeypox, COVID-19, and HIV all at the same time. Previously, it was not believed that monkeypox and COVID infections could happen simultaneously, but the man tested positive for COVID last month after returning from a trip to Spain. Well, he then went to a hospital seeking treatment for a rash, which turned out to be monkeypox. He was treated for both of those viruses and sent home to isolate. He was also placed on a combination antiretroviral therapy that he will need to take for life because of the HIV. Isn't that ridiculous? I mean, HIV, COVID, monkeypox in the same time. I mean, I don't know what to believe, honestly, but when it comes to health and viruses and disease and all of that, for me, the best source is real doctors. And one of them is Dr. Robert Malone, who was labeled as crazy conspiracy doctor and spreading misinformation and all of that during, you know, the previous one. But if you look at his records, who he is, and you do some research about him, you will see that he's working in this field for many, many years. Now, here is what he said about this crazy new monkeypox virus. What's fascinating is it was just uh, disclosed a few minutes ago by the World Health Organization that uh, the prior monkeypox uh, emergency uh, declaration was set to, to expire tomorrow. Now, when they make these emergency declarations, it gives them power and money. And so no surprise that they have contrived to come out with yet another monkeypox emergency declaration two days before, literally, before the last one expired. So this is a lot like the gamesmanship that's been done by the uh, Biden administration regarding the uh, declaration of emergency for COVID. And uh, the truth is that what we've got here going on in the Democratic Republic of Congo or the Congo Basin is something that's been going on for a few years. There's nothing particularly unusual here, except for they're detecting more cases in surrounding countries. But this is still a uh, variant, clade one B is what it's called. And there's some concern that it may be more infectious, but it's still restricted to basically men who have sex with men, prostitutes and others that are in contact with men who have sex with men that have developed cases of monkeypox. This is readily controlled as the prior outbreak was by just public education and getting people to uh, say gently modify their behavior. Uh, this is not an international uh, concern. It doesn't merit this except for from the perspective of the leadership of the WHO, this gives them more power and money and uh, it also supports the interests of Moderna, which is trying to come out with a new vaccine, and Bavarian Nordic, which has always, already seen a huge pop in their stock price because they market the currently available smallpox vaccine that's been repurposed for monkeypox. Incredible. That's what's going on. Incredible. Now, another thing that came to my mind is that the previous pandemic started in the year of the presidential election in the United States. And guess what? It's 2024. We are just a few months away from the presidential election in the US. It's going to be in November. And they say that we have a new public health emergency. And Donald Trump um, has a short video about this when he talks about this, even though he mentions the name of the previous one in this clip, but it means the same thing. And it's, I think it's quite important what he says. So listen to his words. The left wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear mongering about the new variants that are coming. Gee whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship more illegal drop boxes, more mail-in ballots, and trillions of dollars in payoffs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are bad people. These are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates, and we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. 
They rigged the 2020 election, and now they're trying to do the same thing all over again by rigging the most important election in the history of our country, the 2024 election, even if it means trying to bring back COVID. But they will fail because we will not let it happen. When I'm back in the White House, I will use every available authority to cut federal funding to any school, college, airline, or public transportation system that imposes a mask mandate or a vaccine mandate. Thank you very much. So is this monkeypox something that we really need to be afraid of? Well, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a health official, so I'm not here to give you any advice and I'm really careful with my words. I don't want YouTube to censor my video, just as they did with my Vatican video where I exposed pedophiles, for example. But anyway, so, I think my opinion is clear. I don't need to tell you what to believe. You're an adult and you can decide for yourself. But what else can we expect? So Klaus Schwab said there's gonna be a lot of crazy events before the election. That sounds like they want to stop Donald Trump no matter what. I mean, even they tried to kill him recently. And as you just saw it in this meme, for example, the fake alien invasion, which I covered with a lot of details in a video. I will put it somewhere around this video. You will find it in the description and you can check it out if you want to. But there are a lot of other things that can happen. And actually, I predicted back in the end of 2023 in my predictions 2024 video when I predicted a lot of things. For example, the Trump assassination and many other things that can happen this year and many of them are actually happening. So if you want to find out what else I predicted for this year and how crazy it is that these things are happening, then check out this video and I'll see you next time. Stay blessed.